Nearly 50% of the water that is used in the United States goes towards irrigation of lawns and other landscape stuff. This includes golf courses using almost 2 billion gallons of water per day. And the worst part of all this is that it is estimated that up to 50% of the water that is used per day in the United States for irrigation is just lost. What does that mean? Well, basically, whether it be leaks in infrastructure or simply just runoff, almost half the water that is used to irrigate the land, whatever it is, whether it be your front lawn, whether it be a golf course, whether it be just the bushes that are around the business, it does not matter. 50% of that water just doesn't actually water the plants. It just turns into runoff and takes all the chemicals with it down into the water systems that surround the area. And of course, different parts of the country use more water than others. So these numbers are just an average for the entire country. Each county, each city might be different. Now, I want you guys to think about that. It's supply and demand. If almost 50% of our water has to go towards just maintaining the looks of things, not 50% of the water going towards you actually need like drinking water, your drinking water is going to cost more. I remember going to school and being told not to take long showers and not to flush the toilet and we have to save all this water. Don't leave the tap on. The emphasis was put on us to conserve water. Then we just turn around and use 50% of the water to water plants. 50% of that just gets wasted. Circle that square. It's almost like half the things we learned in school about saving the environment was just bullshit. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't seem to be about protecting the environment or being smart with our resources. It seems like just a way to tell the average Joe how to live life so that golf courses and fertilizer companies can just keep making billions. That's just what it feels like. A lot of this can be mitigated by just planting native plants that don't need anywhere near as water because they're used to the amount of water they would get where you're from. What that ibis be doing though?